Three Little Pigs. Three little piggies made their houses out of hay, hoping to ward off the bad wolf. Oh no! The wolf came and huffed and puffed, then he let out a puff. Down fell the little piggy's house. Three little piggies made their houses out of clay, hoping to ward off the bad wolf. Oh no! The wolf came and huffed and puffed, then he let out a puff. Down fell the little piggy's house. Three little piggies thought, what if some brick they bought could build a house from that bad wolf? Think, think. If they built a house real quick using some bright red brick, then they could keep their pretty house. Three little piggies built their houses out of brick, hoping to ward off the bad wolf. Oh no! The wolf came and huffed and puffed, then he let out a puff. Poor wolf, our house is staying up. Okay, Dewey. Shall we? Little Jack and his hopeful mom were poor and had no food. So Jack traded their cow for some magic beans to a man in the neighborhood. Plant them in your garden. You'll find a huge surprise. And just like that, a beanstalk grew so high it touched the sky. Wow! The beanstalk grew and touched the sun. Fee, fi, fiddly dum. I think I'll climb. It looks like fun. So Jack climbed up the leafy vines to a castle in the sky. But when he got there, what did he see? A giant meal, oh my! Oh. He turned to face the giant. A scary, hungry man who wanted Jack for breakfast. No! This was not in Little Jack's plan. Fee, fi, fo, fum. What have I here? Yum, yum, yum. Fee, fi, fiddly dum. I'm gonna eat you. Run, run, run. <laughs> Giant roared, but Jack broke free and listened to him rant. Lay golden eggs, you foolish hen, and don't tell me you can't. The giant pointed to a golden harp with the face of a sad, sad girl. And he ordered her to play a tune, then he shook the whole wide world. Oh, fum, the giant's work is never done. Fee, fi, fiddly dum. A boy for breakfast, yum, yum, yum. But the music made the giant sleep, so Jack, he made some tracks. Down the stock, he slipped and slid and headed for his axe. 
chopped off half a beanstalk, giant tumbled down. The hen and harp came down as well, and the giant broke his crown. Fee, fi, fo, fun, Jack got away from the giant one. Fee, fi, fiddly dum, the hen and the harp escaped that chum. Now the hen laid eggs that Jack could sell To buy back his lovely cow And the harp now smiled and loved to sing Have a listen! Whoa! A party was in order And all the neighbors came Jack was very famous Everyone knew his name Hero saved his mom. Fee, five, fiddly dum. Cake and milk for everyone. <laughs> Here's the story of the little boy who cried wolf. A little boy who tended sheep, tended sheep, tended sheep Sat on a hill like little Bo Peep and tried not to fall asleep To pass the time and make some fun, make some fun, make some fun He cried out Wolf! to everyone My poor sheep are on the run! Help! Wolf! There's a wolf chasing my sheep! It was just a joke he laughed about, laughed about, laughed about. It's so funny that folks came out. And he laughed when they began to shout. <laughs> we don't see a wolf, said a villager there. The sheep are fine. Was that just a dare? It was a joke just to pass the time. It's no big deal. It's not a crime. <laughs> you all look so scared! <laughs> One day passed and the boy had a plan Had a plan, had a plan I think I'll do it all again Just because I can And just because it seemed like fun Seemed like fun, seemed like fun He cried out Wolf! to everyone My poor sheep are on the run! Help! Poor sheep! Help! But it was just a joke that he laughed <laughs> about Laughed about, <laughs> laughed about And once again the folks came out But when they saw no wolf they began to shout We don't see a wolf anywhere the sheep are fine, now that's not fair! It was just a joke to pass the time It's no big deal, it's not a crime But the little boy giggled <laughs> and thought it was funny that once again he fooled all the villagers <laughs> and Then one day while tending his flock Tending his flock, tending his flock the boy saw a wolf and went into shock. I'd better call for help! He thought. Help! Help! Wolf! My poor sheep! Help! Help me! Help me! It's the big bad guy! Big bad guy! Big bad guy! It's the truth, I swear! I would not lie! Please come help me! Hear me cry! Help! Help! There's a wolf! Really? Villagers heard his crying plea, crying plea, crying plea But they thought it was a joke, you see So they had cake and cups of tea So on that day he came to town, came to town, came to town The villagers gathered all around and he said, I'm sorry that I let you down. 
I'm sorry that I let you down. I sure learned my lesson. Once upon a time there were three brown bears and they lived in the deep dark woods. One fine day as the porridge cooled, they walked around the neighborhood. The porridge was too hot! Down the path through the deep dark woods, a little girl skipped along. Goldilocks was the little girl's name and she didn't know right from wrong. And she saw three bowls on the kitchen table She grabbed a chair and climbed right up As fast as she was able Yummy! Porridge! She took a taste from Papa's bowl Yuck! It's much too hot! She took a taste from Mama's bowl Yuck! It's much too cold! She took a taste from Baby's bowl this one tastes just right. And she ate with a spoon, and very, very soon she swallowed every bite. Look at those comfy rocking chairs. She sat down on Papa Bear's chair. This is much too hard. She sat down on Mama Bear's chair. This is much too soft. She sat down on Baby Bear's chair. This one feels just right. And she rocked and she rocked till the chair fell apart She had quite a fright Ouch! Ooh, look at those comfy beds! She laid down on Papa Bear's bed This is much too hard She laid down on Mama Bear's bed This is much too soft She laid down on Baby Bear's bed This one feels just right She pulled back the covers and snuggled in and then turned off the light. Good night. Someone's been eating from my bowl, said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl, said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl, and there's nothing left for me. A baby bear was very sad, as sad as sad can be. Sitting in my chair, said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and broke it all apart. And Baby Bear began to cry with all his little heart. Someone's been sleeping in. My bag, said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she is still there. And Goldilocks woke up to see three very angry bears. Not so fast, said Papa Bear. We'd Better have a talk. I'm very, very sorry, said little Goldilocks. Goldilocks and Baby Bear became the best of friends. And that, my little Dewey, is how the story ends. can run faster than you. Faster than anyone or anything. Oh, uh, really? Well, then I'd like to challenge you to a race. A race? Indeed. <laughs> what fun. Once upon a time, a tortoise and a hare decided on a race just for a dare. The hare was very sure he would win hands down, but the tortoise Archibald thought, That won't get me down. 
Hedgewick the hare was speedy and Archibald was slow. He almost missed his cue when they said ready, set, go. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. The hare raced like a bullet at the speed of light. While the tortoise took his time, he had a goal in sight. Hedgewick knew he'd win, so he stopped to take a nap. As Archibald was nowhere close to catching up in laps. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. So the hare fell asleep under a shady tree And Archie heard him snore as he passed him on mile three When Archie crossed the finish line, everyone said hooray! Hedgewig heard the noise, well, well, you don't say Slow and steady wins the race, be like Archie Ball He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all a gold medal for Archie Ball. He cheated! Hedgewig cried. He won fair and square with a slow and steady stride. Hedgewig now was sad he didn't win the race. But Archie tried to cheer him. Put on a happy face. It's just a silly contest, not worth a silly fight. Friendship's what's important. And with that, they made things right. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archie Ball. That sleepy tortoise finished first. And he didn't run, he crawled. Story time. Let's do the story of Little Red Riding Hood. I want to play Little Red. And Bingo, you can be in it too. Okay, okay. And Dad can be the huntsman. Okay, Dad? Radio. <laughs> there once was a girl all dressed in red. Oh boy, oh boy. No, not a boy, but a girl instead. Oh boy, oh boy. She went to visit her gran, who was not feeling well. And her puppy followed through the woodsy dell. Oh boy, oh boy! Now remember what I told you. Go straight to Grandma's house and don't talk to anyone along the way. Yes, Mom! Little Red brought goodies wrapped up nice. Oh boy, oh boy! Because her grand loved sugar and spice. Oh boy, oh boy! But once in the woods, a wolf saw Little Red. And where are you off to, dear? He said. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm on my way. Well, all right. I don't want to be rude. We're taking this to Granny's place. Oh boy, oh boy. The poor dear's sick, so we'd better race. Oh boy, oh boy. Then Red waved goodbye. But the wolf thought, yes, I'll follow her, I must confess. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> I know my way around these woods, and I'm pretty fast. The wolf dashed into Grandma's place. Oh boy, oh boy! Get in the closet and hide your face. Oh boy, oh boy! With Granny locked up, he got in bed. I'm a poor old lady. The hairy wolf said. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Who's there? It's me, Granny. Oh, uh, oh, come in, dear. Hello, Granny. Said Red when she walked inside. Oh boy, oh boy! I thought I heard a desperate cry. Oh boy, oh boy! What was that? Cried Little Red. Uh, nothing, dear. Come here. He pled. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whoops. Uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. Why, yes. Why, yes. And, Granny, what big eyes you have. Why, yes. Why, yes. And, Granny, what big teeth you have. Why, yes, I'm blessed. Oh, no, oh, no. 
Oh, yes. The better to eat your earth. Bingo! Cried Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Then a huntsman who was chopping wood. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Broke through the door and he grabbed that beast and knocked him out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You're a naughty wolf. Go away and don't you ever come back here. Well, the huntsman freed Red's grand. Oh boy, oh boy. And Red said, I'm your biggest fan. Oh boy, oh boy. It's all my fault, said Little Red. I didn't listen to what Mama said. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was kind of scary. But it all worked out in the end, didn't it? <laughs> she should have listened uh -huh. to her mommy. And the wolf went away and never ever came back. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> the Finger Family. Daddy Finger, Daddy Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy Finger, Mommy Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Brother Finger, Brother Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Sister Finger, Sister Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do?
Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall All the king's horses and all the king's men Couldn't put Humpty together again Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall All the king's horses and all the king's men Couldn't put Humpty together again Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall all the king's horses and all the king's men Couldn't put Humpty together again Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again The itsy bitsy spider ran up the water spout Down came the rain and washed the spider out Out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider ran up the spout again
to the shore. If you see a lion there, listen to it roar. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream row 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 your boat gently to the shore if you see a lion there listen to it roar
studying hard? Yes, Mama. Are you sure? Yes, Mama. Show me your book. Ha ha ha! Holly, Ollie. Yes, Mama. Have you been naughty? No, Mama. Are you sure? Yes, we are. Open your hands. Ha ha ha! Holly, Ollie. Yes, Mama. Are you sorry? Yes, Mama. No more lies. Promise, Mama. Can I have the comic? Ha ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> But your room's a mess Mom, please Nope Next time, clean your room before you ask me Okay, Mom, okay Mama, can we go to the playground? It's a sunny day We'll swing on swings and play in the sandbox Mom, what do you say? No, you cannot Not all alone Mom, please No Tell you what, I will take you out to the playground Make sure that you are safe Yay! May I have some ice cream? Can I buy this game? May I get a puppy? Can I stay up late? Mama, may we go to Jackie's party? Six o'clock tonight. We cleaned our rooms and done our homework. Mom, what do you say? Yes! Yay! Thanks, Mom! <laughs> Had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick The doctor came with his bag and his hat And he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat -tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head He said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed He wrote on the paper for some pills I'll be back in the morning with my bill, bill, bill Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick The doctor came with his bag and his hat And he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat Looked at the dolly and he shook his head He said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed He wrote on the paper for some bills, bills, bills I'll be back in the morning with my bill, bill, bill Let him go 
Because he bit my finger so Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right Once I caught a fish alive Six, seven, eight, nine, ten Then I threw him back again Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right Tram go! 